Hello! Today on Visionary SimPilot, I am going to show you how to do a quick start of the C130 in prepared 3D. So I've got it on the ground here in McCollin Air Force Base in Sacramento. And the first thing I want you to notice that aircraft is sitting by itself here. And this will also work for um, all of the default C-130s in Prepared 3D, and it will also work for um, Captain Sims C-130. They all use the same panel and same kind of model and that sort of thing. So, so the first thing you're going to do is hit Shift and the number 2 so that we bring up this little panel all the way over here in the left bottom corner. Uh, these open up all the different... Um, two-dimensional panels in this aircraft all these different icons and we want to hit this E down in the bottom right corner of that little panel and when we do that if we go to the outside again you will see that little power truck right there because now we've connected ground power to the aircraft and you can see it there as well alongside the aircraft so so now that we have that now we want to hit uh, sorry, shift and the number 6. And this is going to bring up our engine panel in here. So down here along the bottom row, we can see these big round dials with the line going through it. And we kind of need to connect the power. So this first one that's AC uh, ground power, we want to click that so that now it's at a diagonal. So it's kind of connecting those lines. And then we want to go over to the next one, and we want to click that one for to connect the instruments. And then we want to click the last one so that we connect the engines. And you, then you'll see these four gauges to the right of that all now have DC power running through them. And those gauges changed from having the needles. So even if I just, not if I click the last one, but I think if I click the middle one. If I click the middle one, it turns all the power slowly drains down so we're going to make sure that we have all of that set so now once we have those three knobs turned that way you can hit the control and the letter E like you normally would to start up all four engines so I will do that now you might also want to put just a little bit of uh, put the throttle up just a little bit like about 10% just so that you have a little extra fuel flow and then from there we can actually go outside the aircraft and make sure that the engines start turning so there goes one and there goes two There goes three. And there goes four. So now that they're all running, we want to go back inside. And we want to hit shift six again to bring that panel back up again. Because up above that row, all these switches are generator switches. So now we need to turn on and you'll see that the gauges above up here are, um, they're not active yet. So we need to, um, sorry, the gauges between this bottom row and the next row up, they're not active yet. So we're gonna turn on the first one and then that gauge is gonna go active and two and three and four. And now you actually have power and everything is running so then you can hit shift and six again to turn that off and then you can hit shift and two and you can hit that letter E again on this little panel and that's going to disconnect the power truck and then we can go outside and we can look at the aircraft again all of our engines are spinning we don't have the little truck and they're actually still going. If you don't follow through that process with this quick little start, 
um, and you disconnect the uh, battery truck from the on the ground before doing all of that uh, the engines will stall out and you'll have to start over again so that is the way you do the quick start for the C130 any default model in prepared 3d as well as captain sim models of the C130 thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel and let me know if there's any other quick start methods or anything like that you would like to have me do in the future videos. Have a great day.